All right, hey guys, what's up? This is Sports Talk One Two Three, and uh, today we're talking about some news coming out of the NFL, where uh, Mike Tomlin has announced that uh, Pittsburgh quarterback Charlie Batch will start for them this week against the St. Louis Rams. Uh, his decision to start and leave Ben Roethlisberger in for uh, the whole Monday Night Football game last week against the 49ers was highly scrutinized. A lot of people criticized him about it. And uh, while he said that Ben Roethlisberger didn't get hurt uh, any further in that game against the 49ers, uh, the 49ers are obviously a lot better than the St. Louis Rams. So uh, I guess they think they can win this game starting Charlie Batch against the Rams, and they're not going to risk ben, Ro ben Roethlisberger getting injured when they're just playing a team like the Rams who are 2-13. Uh, and 13. Uh, Now, do I think Charlie Batch is going to do that good? No. I mean, he's been inconsistent in the time that he's gotten. While uh, he hasn't ever had time to get like into a rhythm or anything, he's getting up there in age. He's kind of old now, and he's just he's just not that good. <clears throat> but I do think they will be able to win this game. I think score is going to be around like something like seventeen ish to like ten ish. Maybe maybe the Steelers are getting to the twenties, but the, no no way I see the Rams getting over like thirteen points just because the Steelers defense is going to be all over them this game. They're starting Kellen Clemens. Their defense isn't that good, but the Steelers' offense isn't going to be that good. They're going to have to run the ball a lot with Rashard Mendenhall, who's been inconsistent time inconsistent at times this year as well. Uh, and while the Steelers do have a lot of speed demon receivers like Mike Wallace, they have good receivers, Heinz Ward, veterans who've been there and done that and stuff. I don't know if Charlie Batch is going to be able to hit him. I don't know where his accuracy is going to be. I don't know what his arm strength is going to be like. I mean, we really just don't know, so I don't predict him to have that great of a game, but I do predict this I do predict the Steelers to win the game. Uh, now going forward, I do think this is what's best for the Steelers. They should be able to win this game and get closer to locking up uh, a first round by, maybe even home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Who knows? I mean it all depends on what the Patriots do and uh, what they do the next week and what the Patriots do next week. And uh Texans are pretty much out of it, so it's pretty much just a two-team race at this point between the uh, Patriots and Steelers for uh, home field advantage for the number one seed in the AFC. So, uh, I mean, we'll see how that see how that works out. So, this is definitely a must-have game for the Steelers. The Steelers need to win this game, but I think they should be fine with, with Charlie Batch at quarterback. But if they do happen to lose those Rams, I think that's a huge hit for their team, and I don't really think they can afford another loss at this point. I think they need to go out and win this game. So just because they're playing the Rams doesn't mean they can slack, but I think they should be able to get by the Rams even just with Charlie Batch at quarterback. But yeah, like I was saying, in the long term, I do think this is what's best. They need to get Ben Roethlisberger healed up and ready. Uh, they can't have him looking like they looked. Uh, they can't have him looking like he looked last week against the 49ers. He can't look like that in the playoffs. Uh, before your playoff game, he has to at least be able to walk around and move in the pocket and make some plays outside the pocket. Because against 49ers, before the game, he couldn't even walk or do anything. So, I mean, he's definitely not going to be able to compete against playoff caliber defenses in the shape he was in last week. So, alright guys, that's it for today. Thanks a lot. See ya.